It's yarn day. We're going on a yarn tour of Seattle. So I'm putting my makeup on. Thought we would have a little bit of a chat about today. So in my list. So I currently have <clears throat> currently have nine stops on my list. I have them in geographical order and I've highlighted the ones that I definitely want to hit because I don't know how long my energy is going to hold out and also it is very windy and rainy today so the weather is also a factor. And where we're going is about an hour-ish north of where I live so it is a little bit of a distance it's not that far by miles, but just because of the way Seattle's laid out and the traffic and everything, it's going to take about 45 minutes to an hour to get up there. We are starting with Tricoter, which that is in like the northernmost tip of the Seattle Peninsula. There's another yarn shop that's in that area, but I, I wasn't super thrilled about seeing it just because of where it's located and it's also just like one more stop on the list and I'm going to be honest I prioritize these yarn shops based on shop name <laughs> because that's just how I am. So Chicoter was the first one that I really wanted to visit. And then from there, we are going to head north to the Acorn Street shop. And that is, there's like Seattle and then there's like North Seattle. It's kind of like the dot on top of the eye. And then you go a little bit further north and you get back into like mainland Washington. So that is the second stop and that's the first stop in like the mainland area. After that we are going to Tea Cozy Yarn which is another one that I highlighted because I'm me. And then also in that area there's just a lot of stuff in general so I want to hit uh, Joann's and Michael's for some Halloween hunting because our Joann's and Michael's are very small, they're out of date, and they're just like, they're not as good as the ones that we had back in Ohio, which is unfortunate because I didn't like living in Ohio, but we did get the most updated stores and the, like the most updated menus at fast food places because it's a test market. So, Sorry, it's hard to talk and do eye makeup at the same time. So I want to hit um, Joann's, Michael's. I'm probably going to stop at a Target at some point because I need a couple of things, but that's just like an if I happen to see one while I'm driving type of thing. And then uh, we're going to stop at Mad Cow. That's one that might get bumped off the list just depending on uh, how the weather and everything is. And then we're going to go to Penzi's, which is the spice shop, just because Ash asked me to pick up some spices and because it's an hour away and I'm going to be in the area, I might as well stop and get spices. So Penzi's is in the same shopping center as Michael's, so we will definitely be going to Michael's even though it's not like a highlighted thing on my list. And then from there we are going to All Wound Up. And then the last one on my list is Stranded by the Sea, which I have not been there, but so far 
my favorite yarn shop in the Pacific Northwest has been Coastal Yarns at Cannon Beach. So I'm kind of looking forward to another seaside yarn shop. And also I love the ocean. So I'm probably going to like walk down to the beach if the weather isn't too nasty and just take some pictures because I love being by the ocean and being by water and everything because I'm a gothic mermaid. And then after that we're going to come back. Okay, we made it to the car. My camera cut off on me while I was getting ready, but I am dressed and I've done something with my hair. I just did a braid because of the weather. Um, I've also got something with a hood with me just in case I need it later. Um, also this lace jacket that I am wearing, it's kind of itchy on the sleeves so I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it all day. But our first stop isn't actually yarn related, it's very mundane. We have a bunch of stuff back there that has been needing to go to charity for a while and we just haven't gotten around to it so I'm going to check it and see on our route uh, what kind of like goodwill drop off locations there are. I think we're going to hit the one up by Tequila. That's probably going to be the easiest and then from there we can continue on to Yarny Goodness. And I'm also choosing Tuckwilla because that's where a Starbucks is. So I can get caffeine and something to eat. Very important. So it is, it's after 11 now. This morning took so long. So I'm going to put the car in drive and we're going to head up north. Well, that was a bust. Their donation center is closed, so we're just gonna head on up to Starbucks and go get some yarn. Okay, isn't this thrilling, all of these car updates? So I went to Starbucks and I got caramel frap, which these things are strong. I don't normally drink coffee. So yeah, this hits me. And then I've also got I found something to eat that is soy free and mostly gluten free. It is it's like chickpea nuggets, which are quite tasty, guacamole, carrots and peas, and there's like a little trail mix dessert thing, so that is quite tasty. And we are going to head up to the first yarn shop, and I'm currently listening to an audiobook in the car, which is Made You Up by Francesca Zappia, I believe is the pronunciation on her name. It's pretty good so far. I'm only like 45 minutes into it. Not even that, but I listened to it on 1.8 speed. So, okay. I think we're all set and it is time to head north. I would love to get a lovely driving shot of going through the city for you, but I don't have that set up in my car. We'll check in when we get to the first yarn shop. Okay, first stop done. I went to Tricoteur in, I'm not even sure what the name of this neighborhood is. Uh, it looks like it's near Madison Valley. Completely new area, area to me, so I have no idea. It is a super cute little shop. They have a nice selection of like variegated, they have some really nice art yarns as well as some basics, um, small selection of books and tools. Uh, the biggest problem I had with this shop is the parking. <laughs> I literally circled the block three times trying to find a place to park and where I am right now I am not entirely certain that my car would still be here when I got back so I only stayed for about five minutes. But I did pick up of Malabrigo and this is da, 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 da. All right, looks like the yarn type is called Manchita it is a fingering weight single 100% superwash merino wool it 
is 420 yards and the color is 365 Ursula, which I am in love with. So this is probably gonna become something for my mom. I don't know what, but hanging on to this for later. And now we are off to, so that was our only stop that we're doing on that like little I dotting the Seattle Peninsula. So we are now back up to the mainland and we're going to the Acorn Street shop, which hopefully they have better parking, but no promises because it's Seattle. yarn is going to be next they should be a little bit closer and then we're gonna hit Joanne's Penzi's and Michael's I think I'm gonna skip all wound up and end with stranded by the sea so that is the rest of the day it is still raining I am so sweaty from that walk up the hill even though it's not that hot outside that's just kind of how my body reacts, which is so not fun, but okay, let's get on the road again. <laughs> Just got out of Tea Cozy, super cute shop, loved it. And I got two things. So the first is Pom Pom Quarterly. None of the yarn shops near me carry it. If you wanna order it online, it's super expensive because of shipping from the UK. This one was a little bit more reasonable. It's 1820 or sorry, 1850 if you get it from their shop because they can order in bulk. So I got that, that is for my market research, for my designs. And then I also got a gift for Ash, which I was not expecting. So I don't know if Ash watches these, just in case, Ash, you need to fast forward 10 or 15 seconds, okay? Have you done it yet? Click ahead, go on. Okay, should be safe now. So, it's a shawl pen. She is gonna love that putting it away now. Okay, so our next stop is not yarn related. Um, I think I'm gonna skip Joann's just because it's already about two o'clock and we are going to head straight to the shopping center that has Penzies and Michaels. So Ash texted me the list of spices we need because I forgot them this morning and uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Probably won't film too much in there. I've just been kind of getting little sneak peeks here and there where I can. I'm still super self-conscious about filming in public and in the car, it, it's not as bad, but in public. You would think that after walking around in this, a little straw witch hat, that I would be less self-conscious, but no. I was actually looking for an umbrella because it's still raining and I found the golf umbrella that we keep in the car but the wind has been kind of intermittently picking up and that umbrella is just super huge and kind of unwieldy but I found this hat in the back seat it just kind of like fell down when we moved a couple months ago and never came out again so <laughs> I've been wandering around in full goth regalia which it, with a straw witch hat because doesn't everybody keep a spare witch hat in their car? I mean, come on, really, it, it's just so perfect. 
And actually, I see this is made of paper. Awesome. Hopefully, it doesn't fall apart in the rain. Anyway, it keeps the rain off my glasses. That is all I care about. So now we are moving on. Let's head up to Penzi's, and that is at Alderwood Plaza, I think. Alderwood Mall, something along those lines. So let's get you it. Okay, we got our spices. I popped into Michael's for a minute to get a couple things for my Patreon packages that are going out later in October. Found part of what I needed. The Michaels around here just aren't very good and the Joann's are not much better. So I'm probably going to end up going to the Joann's down by us to find the rest of what I need. And I'm starting to flag a little bit. Uh, I got myself a bottle of water while I was in Michaels, but I need to find some proper food and not just like snack food like I had earlier. Um, I need a little bit more protein. And then we just have one more shop left and then it's time to head home. Okay, we have made it to Stranded by the Sea. It is right behind me. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this because Edmonds is beautiful. I've never been here before. The ocean is just like right over there, which makes me so excited. I love the ocean. Um, and then there's a couple restaurants here, so I'll probably hang out for a bit, get some lunch, dinner stuff. It's like 3, 3.30, so that snack is very far away. <laughs> and I am going to go get yarn because a high fiber diet is important. Okay, it is 4.08, I'm done shopping for the day, I spent way more money than I should have, but I got some really great stuff and I didn't go totally overboard. So I love Stranded, you can smell the ocean as soon as you get out of the car and it made me so happy. I definitely want to come back up here, I love it, this is definitely the highlight shop of the trip. Okay, I had switched devices because the storage on my other one was full, but I absolutely love Stranded by the Sea. This is definitely my favorite shop all day. Definitely coming back. None of these shops are ones where I would just be like, no, I never want to come back. I loved all of them. I am probably less likely to go back to Tricoter and uh, the Acorn Street shop just because parking was so difficult at those two. Um, Stranded has its own parking lot which definite bonus. They also have a lot more of the showstopper yarns and like local Washington stuff which is excellent. Um, a lot of the other shops were heavier on your basic standards which is great, there's nothing wrong with that. My local yarn shop is like that. But when you want like an outstanding pair of socks or a really great variegated yarn for brioche, then this is the one to head to. I absolutely loved it. They also had a lot of indie stuff, um, like handmade stuff that was for sale. And I just, I really enjoyed it. I could have spent all day there, especially because there was a giant fluffy dog and that made me so happy. Um, I think they said his name was Kona and he is an extremely fluffy Dutch breed. I didn't catch the name of the breed, but he kind of looks like a 40 pound gray Pomeranian. That's kind of what he looks like. We used super sweet, very patient while his mama was shopping and I just loved it. I, I'm always the person who wants to pet all the dogs, so that was great. And I think now it is time to 
call it quits, pack it in, head home. My phone is low on battery, so I at least need to get back to I-5 before it dies. Um, oh, I need to show you what I got. So this is Sweet Georgia, which I've never used before. It's their Tough Love Sock. It is Fizzy Water is the colorway. And it's, uh, what are you? It's an 80-20 super wash, 425 yards. We aren't gonna talk about how many skeins of purple and blue variegated sock yarn I already have, but that's going in the collection. And then I also got these super cute stitch markers, which I love, and my phone isn't gonna focus, but they're little shells with pearls. And they aren't just stitch markers, but every single one of them has a lobster clasp on them, so they can also be used as pop keepers, and that's my favorite kind of stitch marker. I almost exclusively use locking stitch markers. So let's head home. I might swing by Joann's on the way just to pick up the rest of the stuff that I needed, but other than that, we're done. <laughs> I have exhausted my paycheck, we are done. So thank you for joining me on this tour of yarn shops that are sort of kind of in my area. Um, I just wanted to do a little quick wrap up here just because I'm still learning how to vlog. I'm still very new to YouTube and to filming in general. And I'm not great at transitions. I'm learning as I reviewed all that footage. But I had a really great time. I would love to do this again at some point. There is apparently a Puget Sound Yarn Crawl that's like an official thing in the area, um, but I don't know when that is, I need to look it up, um, but it sounds like a lot of fun and I will definitely be going back up to Edmonds. I also do really want to go back to Trotter and the Acorn Street shop, um, just maybe <laughs> on a different day or different time when parking is maybe a little bit easier. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. All of my socials and links are down below. And I hope that you join me next week, next Wednesday, for our regular podcast. And then the week after that, I should be doing a, a yarn tour and organization where I put away all of the yarn that I have acquired for the past few days. I hope that in the meantime you have something soft and fluffy.